A unique professional mentoring program is fueling a partnership between Canadian women and women in developing nations. The Ladysmith Credit Union is playing host to a bank manager from Ghana who is sharpening her business skills and hoping to gain knowledge that will help improve the way of life for people in her community. Today, 137 credit union managers from 16 countries have taken part in the program. Cheryl Bloxham has the story. Hi, Mavis. Hi, Hi Jocelyn. I'm Mavis. Welcome. Mavis Ketia shows up for work a world away from home. So, this is, uh, this is our reception. Ketia is a credit union manager from a small town in Ghana, and she's at the Ladysmith Credit Union as part of the Canadian Cooperative Association Women's Mentoring Program. Credit unions all across the world take uh, women from developing countries um, and bring them over and show them credit unions that have been in business for a lot of years. She will spend 10 days on the island learning from the people at this branch, which has been in operation for 60 years. She can take that knowledge that we've just had the time and place to be able to put, um, put in place and give it to her and hopefully she can put that into play back at home. Ketia says her main goal is to learn about loan portfolios, how to market her credit union, financial counseling and financial management. I can improve my credit union. And I want my credit union to become like what Lady Smith and Digital Credit Union is. Some major differences between what she sees here compared with back home, how loans are approved and the internet. In Ghana, it's all still cash. They do have computers in their branches that they're able to use, um, but uh, they don't have access to the internet at work. So, yes, yeah, some other like checks and ATMs and bank cards are things that they just don't have access to yet. And there's one more major difference. Every staff is willing to help. Yeah, every staff is willing to help. But in Ghana, you can't see that. But here I've realized that every staff or everybody is willing to help. But this isn't just a one-way learning opportunity. The program gives people here a chance to expand their knowledge too. I think it's really fascinating to have Mavis here. We're also learning so much from Mavis about her country and her uh, way of life. Ketia says when she returns home next week, she'll be armed with the knowledge and the skills to ultimately improve the living standards for people living in her community through her work. Cheryl Bloxham, A News.